Spirit. This is the very first episode and I'm so excited to finally get this started. The first episode will be talking about shadow work. Shadow work is really important, especially with these eclipse energies that we have going on, to close out all these karmic cycles, to do a lot of deep diving and some and digging up of some inner trauma. Shadow work is very rewarding, it's very difficult, but it's worthwhile. So let's get into it. So before we get into what shadow work even is, let's talk about the shadow. Some people call the shadow the dark side, the night side, some people even call it the ego. The shadow actually encompasses the ego, which is why I would say it's deceptive. But the shadow encompasses more than that because the shadow encompasses also our wounds and trauma that can lead to behaviors that can be self-destructive or destructive towards others. It can also encompass the aspects of ourselves that we're not exactly aware of, the things that are kept in the dark. It's really important to understand that the shadow is not inherently negative. It's not a bad thing. Like I said, it's very vital. It's very important actually to have your shadow side, your dark side, and to integrate it in order to become, um, to, in order to have more growth, in order to become more aligned as well, to keep ascending for those of you who are on that path. So what is shadow work? <laughs> shadow work is exploring the shadow. It's literally self-exploration. Shadow work is not a one and done thing. Shadow work is something that is a tool to use throughout the course of your life to keep growing, to keep improving, and to also keep ascending for those who are on that path. Now, with shadow work, as you're looking into the parts of yourselves that you don't normally look at or the parts of yourselves that are kind of hidden away or the parts of yourself that you feel can be self-destructive or destructive that is rooted in wounds or wounds that you've caused, <clears throat> can be done in many different ways. I feel it's a very personal experience and whatever your intuition is telling you to do as far as how to go about this kind of work, you should definitely follow because we all have unique shadows. We're all very unique people on a very unique path, having a very unique experience. It only makes sense that your own shadow work should be unique to you. So there are a lot of ways that you can do this self-exploration. Many different tactics out there, but essentially what it is, it's healing. It's also having honest conversations with yourself about yourself and that's why it can be very hard for people to do this i find some of the best shadow work comes about when you are in a situation that you're struggling with if it's a decision process that you're struggling with or you just don't feel comfortable or something is making you feel like there's pressure or stress that's always a good time to sit down and do some shadow work now when it comes to doing shadow work i do find that there are some important steps especially when it comes to the healing process so the very first thing is you have to actually be comfortable accepting your feelings. I know, but let's start with feelings. You have to be comfortable with emotions and just feeling what you feel. It's okay to just feel, right? That's the very first step in any healing process and especially with shadow work, I find it's very important to recognize what you're feeling. Some people are too emotionally detached to allow themselves to feel the emotion and they'll allow the physiological response. Like sadness is a prime example. Some people don't allow the crying to happen. Some people don't allow the, the, the upsetness to kind of come out in a physiological way. And it's okay to, it's natural to, it has to come out. <laughs> it has to, right? So allow yourself to feel and also recognize what you're feeling. You know, recognize that, okay, this is sadness. I feel sad, like it's sad. The next step is accepting it, okay? I know, this is actually, this is actually I would argue, one of the hardest steps. Accepting what you're feeling. Acceptance is taking ownership of it. If you feel jealous, accept it. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't be ashamed of it. Just accept it. Just accept that you're feeling that. Acceptance can be really hard because it, it really makes it real. Because even if we're feeling something, sometimes we can just get lost in the energy of the emotion. Like if you're really sad and you're crying a lot, sometimes you just get caught up in the crying part as opposed to the actual sadness, right? When you accept an emotion, you take responsibility for it. I know that could be hard. But then once you come to the place of acceptance, you can go to the next step, which is understanding it. This is where the epitome of shadow work happens, okay? Understanding is the exploration of what you've just accepted. This is going to the place of, I feel angry. I accept that I'm angry. Why am I angry? And you go and you explore that through whatever medium is best for you. Whether you want to write it in a journal, talk to yourself out loud, talk to yourself in a mirror, 
or whether you want to ask your guides to help you understand you can also do that too or you want to do a little recording video and talk to yourself and watch it later some people also do voice recordings i actually have a couple friends that like to do voice recordings for example i like to do journaling so what i'll do is i'll sit down and i'll literally ask a question and i'll write it out and i'll sit there with the question and i will honestly think about it i will think about it with an honest answer of why i feel a certain way one of the last times i did this i was struggling with a decision I was really uncomfortable with it um, and I couldn't figure out why. I couldn't figure out why because that's a part of myself that was hidden to my awareness, right? That was sitting in my shadow. So I sat there, I wrote out the question, had an honest answer and I wrote it out. And oftentimes when you do that, you'll be so shocked at how many questions you come up with. I had question after question after question after question. 14 pages later, I was like, oh, <laughs> that's why I feel that way. I was attaching to something I didn't have to be attached to. So when it comes to shadow work, if you're struggling with how a situation turned out and maybe deep down you're not really proud of yourself with how you handled it, explore that. Why do you feel that way? Why did you say that? Why did you do that? And really dig deep into why you feel the way you feel. If you have a problem judging people, why are you judging people? Why do those people bother you? Explore that right? These are all the shadow aspects to explore. This is how you explore shadow side. If you're confused about something that you're doing or saying or thinking, that's a reason to sit down and explore your shadow. If you're hurt, if you're sad, if you're uncomfortable, if you're stressed, these are all reasons to explore your shadow side because there's something going on there. It's like an alert system. Whenever you're feeling these things, when you're not totally content or totally comfortable, there's something going on in your shadow that you can be made aware of. And then once you come to the place of understanding it, then you can come to a place of, of having it be integrated, having it be a part of your awareness. When we integrate the shadow, we're basically bringing those aspects that are hidden into the light, into our consciousness to become aware of it, to stay aware of it moving forward. That's what we mean by integrating. It takes time, right? It's a transition. It goes from doing the work, doing the shadow work, and then transitioning through and accepting it and checking yourself. And then you'll eventually come to a place where it is just naturally integrated as a part of you, as a part of you, and you don't have to think about it anymore. Like think about the things you worked through that you worked through over 10 years ago. Like the big stuff, maybe stuff you haven't even thought about in a while, but 10 years ago, it was a big part of your existence or it consumed a lot of your thoughts or it consumed a lot of your emotions or your energy. You see what I mean? It's always a transition. So that is basically what the shadow is, what shadow work is, and how to integrate the shadow. And I really hope that you guys use this as a tool moving forward in the coming days, weeks, months, years, because uh, it is a really, really beneficial tool. It's very rewarding. It gives you so much back. It gives you so much back. And especially during these times of these eclipses and this year of 2020, which is a really big year, a big year of change and a big year of reestablishing stability and what stability really looks like. I know it will really be a great tool for you guys to use. OK, so I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. Please uh, email me if you guys are curious about anything else, uh, any other topics or anything else you guys want me to touch on or talk about. And I hope you guys found this very beneficial. OK, I'll see you guys later. Have a really great night and I'll see you soon. Namaste.